To add an object in Blender, it's really quite simple. Let's say we want to add another mesh. Maybe a torus, for example, or a donut. Simply go to the Add menu in the top left, go to Mesh, and select Torus. For hotkey users, you can simply press Shift-A to open your Add menu. You'll notice that the new mesh spawns where the 3D cursor is. This is an important feature of the 3D cursor. I'm sure you've noticed you can add things other than toruses. Inside the mesh menu alone, you can see all of these primitives here. Most of them are self-explanatory, but you might be curious about what this monkey option is. The monkey is the head of a character called Suzanne. Suzanne is Blender's alternative to more common test models such as the Utah Teapot and the Stanford Bunny. As a low polygon model of only 500 faces, Suzanne is often used as a quick and easy way to test material, animation, rigs, texture, and lighting setups. Fun fact, the largest Blender contest, which takes place at the Blender conference every year, gives out an award called the Suzanne Award. To delete an object, there are three ways to do it. Make sure you have the correct object or objects selected, then go to Object, Delete. For hotkey users, you can press X or the Delete key. However, if you press X, you'll get a confirmation message. To confirm, simply left-click or press D. These delete functions also extend to almost every other editor where you can delete things. But it's important to know that the deletion menu in edit mode, for example, can look very different. Instead of a simple confirmation menu, deleting things in edit mode will bring up another menu, which will ask you for more information. For example, you can choose to delete the vertices, the edges, or the faces that you have selected, and each one will do something slightly different. If you delete vertices, it will also delete all connecting edges and faces of the vertices you selected. If you delete edges, it will also delete any faces formed by those edges, but it will not delete any vertices that also share another existing edge. And if you delete faces, it will also delete all edges and vertices within your selection, but not delete any edges or vertices along the boundary of your selection. Deleting only edges and faces will leave your vertices intact throughout your selection, even if they are floating in mid-air. Deleting only faces will leave you all of your edges intact throughout your selection, even if they're floating in mid-air. Dissolve vertices, edges, and faces are operators that try to combine the geometry in a way to act like your selection never existed. It will not always work, but can be very handy for removing loop cuts or extra subdivisions. Edge Collapse will collapse all vertices along the boundary of your selection, caving in the geometry where your selection once was. Edge Loops will functionally do the opposite of a mesh extrusion. It will reduce your selection geometry down to the next edge loop available. Edit Mode has the most complex deletion options available, so while other modes and editors may have similar deletion options, they should be pretty self-explanatory if you can understand these.